How you doing, man? So, uh, so we've got a little girl inside, and um, her mom was here earlier. Okay. She looks just like her mom, which is like immediately when she came in. She came in after we closed. She walked up to the door, and she was immediately welcome because like, why is there a little kid here? Because I, I actually got under my seat and I was like, brought their kid to a bar this thing. And I realized she's just missing. She mm -hmm. just doesn't know where her mom is. And that's our problem. We've got a little girl inside. Her name is... Mom's name is Victoria. Um, I've tried calling her mom several times. I've actually tried asking her last names and going on Facebook and finding, maybe trying to find mutual friends. I've tried everything, guys. Mm -hmm. What's the... How'd you get the phone number? She's actually a regular here. She actually used to work here a long time ago. The girl's mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but that's... That's that's it. Gotcha. But, I mean, I, I have I have tried everything. You have an address you guys, for? Her? I don't. Okay. Um, you don't have her last name? No. Okay. The, I think probably the little girl does. Yeah. I, I I think I ha I had the, the dad's <laughs> last name. I have a, a solid phone number, so I didn't ask for the last name. Gotcha. All right. Can I have your names? Huh? Yeah. Hey, Chris. Uh -huh. Chris. Matt. Chris. Matt. Who's the Who's the other one talking to? Her? Well, I'll be talking to her. Matt. Chris. Chris. <laughs> Where's, uh... My friends, they're heroes. <laughs> Chris. How you doing? I like a little pumpkin. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Where'd you walk from? Um, I walked from the mm -hmm. Alright, this is on you guys. We're out. <laughs> right. It's okay. You can tell us where you came from, okay? You want to sit in that comfy booth with them? You want to yeah. sit with us? Oh. It's okay. Where's your SpongeBob ice cream? It melted. It melted. You let it. You let them just melt all away. What about what's your mom's name? Um, her name is Veronica Veronica, what was the last name? Oh, yeah. Roxanne. Bell. Bell? Okay. Her name is Roxanne and her last name is Bell. You're awesome at this. Where's your mommy at? Sit next to me if you need to, okay? You don't know? You said you walked from your car. Yeah, because um, she, I fell asleep and then I woke up and she walked from her car. Okay. Nice. Where is your car around here somewhere? Um, yeah, it's okay. over there. I can show you it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Easy way to solve this. Run the tag on the car, get mom's name, get mom's address. Would you emergency like me contact to walk with you? Yeah. I will walk with you if that's okay. <laughs> can I walk with her? Yeah, of course. We're doing super. Yeah, well, you're doing so good. <laughs> Wherever it is, okay? These guys are just helping us. Okay? Okay. You tell them anything that you feel like you need to tell them. Car key okay? on the floor. And they found skydive the land. Oh boy. You found, you found skydive the land? Phone? You got her the phone in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. She left her phone and her vape? Yeah, those are the keys. It's the keys. Okay. Do you want to give it to this night? Yeah, he's going to help us out, okay? She can maybe be in any of these buildings. Okay. She walked off to one, but I can't see where because she turned the lights off. Okay. Has this ever happened before? Um, no. She never leaves the car without me. No? Okay. She said it's something really important. And she said it would be a real quick when it hasn't because it was like was like five to ten minutes. Which way did you say she walked? Um, I couldn't see because she turned the the lights off every single one. Okay. Okay. But you don't remember which way she walked when she mm -hmm. left the car? No. Okay. 
Okay, so we want to thank Morgan and Morgan for sponsoring this video. I think it's pretty clear from the stories that we cover that it's not always safe out there. And when you're hurt, it can be pretty confusing. It can be scary. You don't know where to turn. Well, Morgan and Morgan is actually the largest injury law firm in America. And at a time when you already have so much to think about, they make it super easy for you. They've completely modernized the process because you submit your claim, you sign contracts, you upload documents, and you talk to your whole legal team all on your phone. That's it. An attorney is going to review your case in just eight clicks. Also, they have 4,000 support staff that can help you through the process too, which is just amazing to think about. And in terms of price, you only pay them if you win. There's no upfront fee. So if you're injured, you want to join the over 3 million people that call them every year, you can submit a claim at www.forthepeople.com slash law and crime or by dialing pound law, that's pound 529 on your phone. There were people around, but I saw mm -hmm. that spark. I thought it was just a car, but now I can see that's a campfire. So the campfire was there when you first got here? Um, yeah. Okay. But there was only a little bit of it. I gotcha. Were you able to see the people around the campfire? No. No? The okay. bus is blocking it. bus is blocking it. Okie dogs. <laughs> You're doing so good. You're if she'd so walk good. down here, she would never leave me. Because this... She's never done anything like this before, but uh -huh. but that's blocked off, so she can't go that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes, and then I found skydive the land. I heard people talking. I followed it, and I went inside. Okay. You came to hang out with us, right? <laughs> because the car was off, Definitely like more completely than off. Ten minutes. That's good. An hour, maybe. An hour. Maybe. Okay. You thinking more than an hour or less than an hour? No, I think right around an hour. Okay. I don't I don't think it was a ton more than that, right around an hour for yeah. sure. We got her some food and then it was kinda like Yeah, she was living good. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> good thing you called. <laughs> Thank you. You doing good? Mm-hmm. Okay. You wanna hold my hand still? Okay. Um, she has a purse that goes around here, and it's like, um, to here, and then she wears it right mostly around here or here, mm -hmm. and then she has her phone in it, but she didn't bring her phone, right? Mm -mm, what no, color was her right shirt, there. maybe? Do it you was, know what, what was like, it, like, pink, purple? Like, long-sleeved white. Long-sleeved long -sleeved white? white? Was she wearing pants? Um, no. No? What was she wearing? Um, she was wearing a long sleeve shirt, mm -hmm. and then she wore um, she wore some shorts. Wore some shorts. shorts. Like shorts, like me. Um, yeah. Like this, like, like wow. little shorts, tight yeah. shorts. Yeah. Okay, and a long sleeve white. I know. Shirt. Her. I know when I will see her because she knows. She knows. She knows. Okay. Found her. Multiple questions. Jason's set a minute out, so I'm assuming he's still coming. <laughs> she uh, was heading back to her car to get her dog. Where from? Um, another car. Which car? Um, over there. Okay. You realize it's 6:30 in the morning, right? I, I do now. And you realize that your daughter, seven? Yes. Seven years old, has been by herself with us for four? I do now. For four hours? I do now. You, you know, you understand my frustration with this whole situation, I right? Do. What on God's green earth were you doing that your daughter is here by herself? at seven years old, where she's terrified and goes into the bar and asks random bar people to help and call the police. I have no idea. I'm sorry. So, sorry ain't going to cut it. Yeah. Sorry, Stephen, I got that. 
She said she was in a car somewhere over there. Okay. Can you show us? Yes. Who's in that car? And go hang out. Can you guys just kind of keep an eye? Were you in the car alone? So wait, you were in the car alone? Yes. Whose car is it? I have no idea. Why were you in someone's car you don't even know? I have I have no idea. You understand how this looks, right? I do. What's your drug of choice? My, my drug of choice is alcohol, but like I, I, I don't know how I ended up in the car. I just woke up in the car, honestly. How'd you end up here? Um, I, I came here to meet friends. Yeah. So like all I, all I know is I, I came here to meet friends, um, and then I, I woke up in the car. Yeah, Renan. I, I came here to meet my friend Renan, and then I woke up in that car. That's all I know. I, I, I really didn't mean to meet, leave my seven-year-old alone in the, in the car. I would never do such a thing. I mean, her, right. her, her dad mm. died last year. He was murdered. He was stabbed in, 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 the, in the heart. Um, like, I would never try to leave my seven-year-old alone. So, when you met your friends here, Renan? Yes. When you met Renan here, did you go into the bar? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Did you have a drink? Yes. What was the last thing you remember? The last thing I remember is meeting my friend Renan here and then having a drink, and that's it. But, like, I mean, I'm not an alcoholic. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I can hold my drink. Like, I'm, I'm 35 years old. You know what I mean? Like, that was probably, like, my third drink. You know what I mean? So, um, it, it shouldn't have knocked me out, but... Do you I feel, don't know why I was in that car. Now, I'm not a woman, and yeah, I don't like, know how things yes, are. I understand. Do you feel like maybe you were violated in any way? I don't know. Like, I woke up in a car that wasn't mine. I woke up in a situation where I, I didn't know where I was at. Were um, your clothes on? My clothes were on, yes. Um, my clothes were buttoned, yes, um, but, um, I don't know how I ended up like this, you know what I mean, like, it, it shouldn't have ended up like this, like, I've never been in a situation Oh, you're right, like it shouldn't have ended up like this. Right. Right. Well, so you probably shouldn't have come up here with your seven-year-old. Right, well, I just came up here to, to, to say hi to my friend, have a drink, and then leave, but, like, obviously it didn't turn out that way, you know what I mean? So you right. said you had three drinks? So. Yes. What is it that you drink? Um, I drink beer. Yes. So I had two beers um, before I came here. I mean, I, I had a beer when I got here. So, yeah. I, I don't know how I got from two beers before here and then one beer and here. I had one beer here, that's what I'm getting at. When's the last time you saw Renan? Um, I mean, obviously it's been several hours. Like, were you sitting at the bar together and then the next thing you know you're waking up in the car? Well, or no, like, did you um, go to the bathroom? Like, I don't, I don't remember anything from tonight. Like, like this is what I'm getting at. Like, like, um, like, tonight is very hazy. Like, as far as being here, I don't mind. You know what I'm getting here? I mean, yeah, in a sense, because I only had two beers, you know what I mean? But other than that, no. Well, you stated that you came here to meet friends. And yes. then you remembered yeah, going into the friend. bar, so you do remember coming here. Yes. Yes. So let's yes. be honest, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm. That's going to be the best way for this situation, okay? Yes. Because you just left your seven year old daughter alone for six hours. Right. You understand that, right? I understand that. So let's be honest with us. When we ask you questions, you answer them completely Most and certainly. truthfully. All right? Most certainly. All right. So after you left the bar, what happened? Not after I left the bar. After I left city limits. 
Um, After the city limits? Yes. Tonight? Yes. When were you at city limits tonight? Before they came here. Before yes. They before came? Came here. yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I met my friend Renan here. And then. I, I got don't know. A, Is Renan a male or a female? A male. A male. We've talked to Renan. Okay. okay. So. <clears throat> um, with. Uh, you don't remember. You don't remember leaving at all. Like from here. No. Okay. Um, how long have you known Renan? Um, probably for like I would say four to five months. What's your guys' relationship? We're friends. Did you guys hook up, make out, do any of that? Uh, like yes. Casual benefits. Yeah. Okay. Um. <coughs> excuse me. Um. So. The very last thing you remember, do you remember where you were standing over here? No. No? Um, so, what's your, what's your last memory at this bar? Do you, like, location? Like, were you inside, outside? I remember coming to this bar and meeting right on. So you just remember showing up and then boom, yes. it was done? How much did you have to drink before you came here? Uh, two beers. Two beers? Any mm -hmm. prescription drugs? No. Uh, also boxing, yes. You took some boxing? Yes. How much you take? Um, one strip a day. Okay. You didn't take anything else? No. Is it prescribed? Yes. So, with your, what kind of beer was it that you drank? Um, it was, I would say equivalent to a yingling. Yingling? So, um, was it a draft bottle? Draft. Draft, okay. Um, Aside from, obviously, what you're telling us is you don't remember, all you remember showing up, meeting right on, and then that's it from here. Um, who, besides your daughter, were you at City Limits with? That's it. Just your daughter? Mm -hmm. You guys weren't uh, having dinner with anybody else or anything like that? No, sir. Okay. Um, all right. Um, <coughs> so... You when don't you know. met Renan, was it out here or was it inside? It was inside. But he was already here waiting on you? Yes, he was already here. Did he have your beer waiting for you when you got here? No. Or you ordered it when you got here? I ordered it when I got here. And then from the time that you got him to your beer, did you ever leave that beer unattended? Like go to the Absolutely. bathroom or do whatever? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. I lived here my whole life. Um, I'm 35 years old. I grew up in Atlanta. Um, this is a place that I trust. Um, so, yeah. Have you ever used in the past? I have. Um, I'm an ex IV addict. Um, but uh, I've been sober now from IV drugs for five years. When was the last time you used? It's been five years. It's been five years? Mm -hmm. So you didn't know D back in January? January? Of this year? That there's a Volusia County Sheriff's Office report about? Yes, I absolutely did. Okay, I so the last time you used was January? Yes. Okay, so again, I don't understand why we're lying. Because a lot of a lot of these questions we're asking you, we we know some of the answers to. We're trying. Right, but the behavior, but the behavior that I've mm -hmm. done, like, we're not talking about the behavior. Right. We're talking right. about your actions. I understand. Right. So, I so you can see where the level of distrust is, right? Right? Because yes, you know we're not we're yes, not new kids in the block. I mean, he kind of is, but he's he's smarter than the right. average cookie, right? Yes, sir. So we're not fucking around here because right. a seven year old was left by herself to walk into a bar of strangers right. who could have been the most god-awful people on the planet, but thankfully they've been nothing but angels the right. entire time. Yes, they have devoted their time since she came in the bar to make sure that this traumatic experience mm -hmm. does not become a severely traumatic experience. Yes, sir. Okay? I understand. So this is what we're trying to figure out right now is just what happened. Mm -hmm. Because like we've been telling you, we've been searching for you for six hours. Right. I mean, because even before we got rope we got brought into all this, they've been trying to blow up your phone and get in contact with you at least an hour or so before they even called us. Right. Right? Okay. So, 
This is a very serious situation. Yes, sir. Okay? So obviously, you know, if something, if you were the victim of something, obviously we will address that and go forward from there. Right. However, right now, your daughter in a way is also victimized. Because oh, she was, absolutely. Because she was, she was left here right. to her own devices in a car that had not clearly been running for right. a long time. Which luckily it's the middle of the night because if it was the middle of the day, she could Yes, sir. Okay? So you may, be, may have been sober from those hard drugs five years ago or I guess January. Yes, sir. Alcohol doesn't, it's, it's not right. that much different. Okay? Yes, sir. Because I've, I have my brother who, heroin addict for 20 years, he would drink, he would still smoke weed, fall back right back into it every time. Yes, sir. Now, if you're one of the few that don't go back to it, Again, alcohol is just another another avenue. Right. Okay. So this, this is a very serious situation. Yes, sir. All right. Um, <clears throat> not only could, I mean, like you said, the people in there were nice. Right. Had they not been nice, somebody could have been like, you know what, I'm going to help you find your mom. Come get in my car. Let's right. go. You know what? Forever. Then you never see your daughter again. Yes, sir. Probably sold on a black market to become a. A, a, a whore or a freaking, you know, a slave Anything. or some sort, yeah. you know, or dead. Yes, we could have just found her in that ditch down there right. where we were looking for you. I'm not sure you know, that. honesty goes a long way. No, sir. If you're I'm 100% clear, you can. know, you're not I just hooked a guy up <laughs> yesterday, you know, oh, who yeah. was honest with me and said, you know what, I got some heroin here, I got some boxing here, I got I some needles here, right? Thing. So I took yes, care sir. of him, guess what? He went to jail, but he, he didn't get pounded like he could have got pounded right. because he was honest. You're facing possible charges of child neglect, child endangerment. I understand. All, I'm, there's a lot of stuff that'll take her away from you. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's so you won't see her anymore. I, I, even I when you not, get out of prison. I mean, her, her, her dad was murdered last year, you know, and it had a huge effect on me, you know what I mean? Um, and I wish tonight was different. And, and I'm sorry to hear that he was murdered, but she's got to be your priority. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. I know she's a huge eye opener. But, you know, it's not going to change the events of tonight. So. Right. So, yes, sir. Is there a reason you're wearing long sleeves? Um, just because it's, it's cold tonight. When was the last time you used? Um, the last time we used it was, it was January. Do you mind rolling up your sleeves? Yes, sir. Is there any particular reason why you left your daughter and did not bring your phone with you? Um, I just went in to go see a friend real quick, honestly. And then it, it, it turned into me being inebriated and not being able to function. All right, before we go any further, Yes, sir. I do this with everybody because when we ask questions and stuff like that, okay? Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to jail, doesn't necessarily mean that, but okay. I just want to show you your rights, okay? So you have the right to remain silent, and anything you say may be used as you as evidence against you. Yes, sir. You have the right to talk to an attorney and have him or her present with you now or at any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. <laughs> If at any time you wish to stop talking or have an attorney present, all questioning will be stopped at your request. Do you understand these rights? Yes, sir. All right, and with these rights, um, with these rights in mind, do you want to keep talking to us? Of course. Okay. Thank you. You're I just, I mean, your part. this is it's for your protection and ours. Okay. So it's okay. just to, you know, just to protect you and, and your rights, because if we ask you questions and you lie, well, now you just committed perjury. Right. Okay. If we ask you questions and you tell us something that lead us to see that you're a victim of something, which is what I was trying to allude to earlier when I was asking those questions, to see if maybe you are a victim right. of something. Right. I you know? mean, I've never... If somebody drugged you or something like that. I've never been... Okay. This so three drinks. So I, I am have no idea. trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Yes, sir. All right. Because me as a parent, I have a son, and I would never, in my right mind, do right. anything like that. I mean, I have a so, DCF case. You know what I mean? Like, I, I would never. You know what I mean? But 
I, I, I honestly, officer, I, I have no idea how I got to this point. Literally, you know, like what woke me up is girls' bright lights. You know, like I, I I've never been like I mean, all I drink was beer. I, I had three beers. So I remember getting here. I remember having a beer, and then that's it. I don't know how I woke up in a car that looks like mine. I mean, it's very similar to mine. Um, and leaving my daughter, you know, it was supposed to be just a very brief interaction, and then I was supposed to walk out. And then, so I have to ask, yes, sir. not wearing any shoes, yeah. which is I mean, fine. I mean, I people flip -flops. don't wear no shoes. <laughs> but your flip tops are in your car. So yes, did you go into the bar with no shoes on? Uh, I mean, I had to have. Um, but like I said, it was supposed to be a, a very brief interaction, and I was supposed to. Go home. I mean, I've never been in this bar. I don't know how it is.